All right, so the first thing you're gonna do when you're staring at a blank session like this in Pro Tools is we're gonna go up here to track and create a new one. Now, we want one mono audio track for our vocal, and if you're gonna be recording to some music, we can also create one new stereo track as well. Click this plus, go down here, add a stereo audio track. So now we have one mono and one stereo track. Let's hit create. Okay, cool. So this top one is gonna be for our vocals, so we can call this vocals. And the second one here is gonna be for our beat, so we can call this the beat. Now, before you start recording at all inside of Pro Tools, it's always good to check our buffer speed. This is just so we can make sure to eliminate as much latency as possible. So let's go up here to Setup and Playback Engine, and we're gonna adjust this HW buffer size, and we're gonna bring this down from 512 samples or whatever yours might be at, and let's bring it to something right around 128, and we'll click OK. Next thing is we wanna set the track input to your microphone so that you can actually get signal from your mic into this track here. So over here on the I.O. section, we'll select up here the input, and we'll select whatever input your microphone is on within your interface. For me, this is the second input right here, this SM7B, this is this microphone. Once that's set, you can now turn on your track and arm it to record by clicking this record button over here. Check one, two. And if we want to actually hear our vocals coming through while we're monitoring, while we're not recording, you can click this little I button for input monitoring. Check one, two. Now all we have to do is push record. To do that quickly in Pro Tools, you can just click the number three on your keyboard on the numerical pad, or just go up here and click record and play. Check one, two, check one, two. And as you can see, we're getting signal on our vocals right now. Now let's say you wanted to add another vocal take, but you didn't want to have to create a whole new track. And we just wanted to try to re-record this exact same part again. Well, what we can do is hit the hotkey control backslash, and it's going to open up this little prompt here to create a new playlist or basically a new take on this exact same vocal track. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And you can see it cleared out those other vocals that we just recorded. And now we can now record a second take. Just make sure to arm the track, record, and push three. Check one, two, and we're recording a second take now. Now, if you want to be able to see the old recordings that you did with your playlist, you can either come up here to this little pull down arrow, and you can see you can jump between the two different takes just like that. Or you can come down here where it says waveform, and instead of waveform, you can say playlist. And this will show you both the takes here on the same plane, so you're able to actually switch and actually drag this up if you wanted to take that take and put it on this, this track here to kind of make a comped vocal track. Now if you're ready to bring in the music track or your beat so that you can start recording on top of that, all we gotta do is just find your beat file here and we'll drag it right on here to this stereo track down here. I'll bring it to the beginning of the song and just like that we have a beat in here. We can go to the clip gain here and turn it down just a little bit so that we can record on top of this. And now we're able to record to this new track. Yeah, check one, two, hey, yeah, yeah. Now I'm not a rapper, so I'm not gonna hurt your ears there. Now I'm gonna turn off playlist real quick and go back to waveforms. And what if you wanted to actually load a vocal preset so you can hear your voice with a little bit of some effects and some different processing to actually make it sound a little better? Well, there's a few ways to load a preset inside of Pro Tools. The first way is to right click on your track here and go to recall track presets. And you'll see your list of presets that you have installed on your computer down here. So you can go to vocal preset, and just choose one here to load up. And boom, just like that, you've loaded a vocal preset onto this track, so you can now hear your vocals with a little bit of effects. Yeah, check one, two, hey. Yeah, yeah. The other way you can do this is go up to Window and open up the workspace. Go here and click Track Presets. This will also load up your track presets that you have installed on your computer. But here now, you can drag in some presets if you have presets with sends, like reverbs or delays or things like that. So let me show you. If I drag this into the session here, you can see now it brought my vocal preset not only with all the effects loaded on the track, but it also brought in a reverb and a delay from this particular preset. So now I can bring this track down over here, and we can hear what that sounds like with the reverbs and the delays. Yeah, check one, two, hey. Yeah, yeah. So you can turn up the reverbs or the delays really quickly and easily just like that. Now I can actually record with this preset enabled. Just go over here, make sure to select my input of my mic, click record, and you can hear my voice with these effects on. Create a new playlist. Let's go. Yeah, hey, check, whoa, yo. Now, if you don't have vocal presets installed on your computer, I'll leave a link down below where you can check out some of my vocal presets that I have using either stock plugins or Waves plugins if you have more advanced plugins. So I hope that helps you record, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, 
Check one, two, eight. Yeah, yeah.